My mom told me about transgender, and there were a lot of people who were transgender before me. A lot of people. It can happen to anyone. About four years old, she 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 talked about cutting off her penis, and that concerned me. Um, concerned me a lot. <laughs> And she said, well, Mom, I am not in the right body, but I am supposed to be a girl. What? <laughs> what are, what are, he's what? You know, like for you and for other people, gender, it's this thing that you don't talk about. It's just like, you know, you wake up, you know you're a girl, that's, that's it. For me, it was like harder. Everybody was shocked, even my mother, because I just wasn't an, an effeminate Guy. I felt that I was alone. I lived um, about half of my life as somebody who was born female in this world. And I see her coming out of the darkness from the parking lot. I had to catch my breath because she was just gorgeous. You know, she's tall, blonde, blue eyes. That was something, a no-brainer. I definitely was going to save sperm. If you could raise your hands if someone you know, including yourself, has ever been sexually assaulted or experienced any kind of sexual violence, please take a look around. Transgender people face injustice at every turn of their lives. Two unidentified transgender people were found tortured and burned. Horrid things happen to us. We don't make it up. 41% of them have attempted suicide. I've always fixed everything for my family. <laughs> and I can't fix this. I don't want to ever, ever be a boy again. I no longer have a son. I now have a daughter. Another young person got shot, and she was trans, so big deal. We need to own the hope that we want to see in the world and show the world that we are here. I get to meet some of the bravest people I've ever met in my life because they're willing to confront the fact that they could potentially lose everything to be true to themselves. It's okay to be different.